youth has gotten connected to you so you know after that you're doing a film like this it takes a lot of courage i have to say oh i was also advised yeah. by my well wishers not to take up mr savarkar's story because he's such a controversial figure but then he told that you gave him so many inputs like you started researching on it and then he was like you know randeep you should write it it was uh, not my choice to write it direct it or in the end produce it and i'm trying my best to promote it as well though i i don't do many interviews i know that is the thing you don't do many interviews i wanted to release it in on the last independence day maybe mr savarkar wished it that it comes in election time so that there is more talk about him and more awareness <laughs> that a lot of people think that elections are coming that is the reason it's a propaganda film and all there is no safe playing in the film like you have covered like all the major aspects and you know yes i have, I have covered all the, all the contentious aspects of his life mm -hmm. in rather detail in one of the interviews that you know ankita wasn't the first choice he had no choice as a, as a director G -G. that was not a choice you had to mm -hmm. do your work and uh, it took some effort but got it right with ankit if i have to ask you three qualities you love about veer savarkar ji his love for his country his anti caste system his abilities as a writer hi this is astra tripathi and welcome to awesome tv which lets you be simply awesome today we have with us randeep huda and i have to say what a phenomenal actor you are sir literally Thank like you. you know you are versatile and now you're coming up with impactful stories we're looking forward for it but talking about veer savarkar it's getting huge numbers the trailer is getting huge numbers and you know audience are loving it what do you have to say on that i'm very glad that my my whole uh hard work and Jee. all the resources that i have put into the movie uh for the last 2 years i have not done anything mm -hmm. else and it is finally coming to a fruition and i'm very grateful that the people are responding so so well to it uh and um, they, i want you to make a large film a dramatic uh, uh, um a you know, thriller kind of a movie which yeah. which will be a departure from the usually preachy biopics that we in india have been making i'm sure it will make an impact because i'll tell you what randeep it was surprising for us because now that you know you're coming up with uh, the series the series and all you're coming up with in ott a lot of youth has gotten connected to you so you know after that you're doing a film like this it takes a lot of courage i have to say because a lot of actors are image conscious when it comes to subjects like this what do you have to say on this oh i was also advised yeah. by my well wishers not to take up mr savarkar's story because he's such a controversial figure people are mm. going to put you in a slot uh, as a spokesman of a certain party call you yeah. a sexy actor and all those things and you're an artist a true artist in that sense and you should not touch this subject that made me mm. more curious and more mm. more rebellious towards taking this up and mm. uh, when i was first approached as an actor i did not know much about him and that's what piqued my 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 interest even more so why is it that a man uh, who is uh, fought for the indian freedom struggle is vilified and called names and there is nothing to 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 know about him uh, so that's why mm -hmm. i started reading more about him and i started reading about the armed revolution it is a common knowledge mm -hmm. that we have been taught that we got our freedom only through non violence and, yeah. and most books say that and the armed revolution is only uh, summed up in a paragraph by these these people existed they tried but nothing much happened yeah. then why were all these people uh, incarcerated and put in jails and blown away by canals and hung there have been something so then i dug deeper and i found out mr savarkar's story and the armed revolution story and it is what was so inspiring and so untold and unfair and mm -hmm. no justice has been done to these people that's why i took it up as a challenge and i tried to portray the story in a very modern young way uh, mm -hmm. i wanted to make it for young people to to uh, to engage them and not preach them to engage them to make them question things and that's the approach that i took and um, it has been a, a very uh, uh, enlightening journey for me and i hope it is for the audience as well i'm sure you have researched because you know at the trailer launch even sandeep singh sir said that uh, 
he came with he came up with a script and he was like he doesn't know that what actors will uh, you know do it but then suddenly he was like when every actor is saying no i will approach randeep huda if he says no then i don't think nobody is going to do the script because everyone is image conscious in that way but then he told that you gave him so many inputs like you started researching on it and then he was like you know randeep you should write it so what do you have to tell about this a lot of things happened uh, yeah. through the course of this movie and uh, it was um, not my choice to write it direct it or in the end produce it but mm. the circumstances happened such that i i i had to do that but i decided that i am going to see this to the end and i'm going to bring it to people and i'm just grateful that finally this movie is coming out and it will reach the audience and this and i'm trying my best to promote it as well though i i don't do many interviews i know that is the thing you don't do many interviews and i was like okay i'm interviewing randeep and i was like okay i have to ask all of the things today but uh, randeep again you know when you do a film like this and you know as youth is already connected to you don't you think that a lot of people are forming a lot of opinions and then you just can't do justice to everyone so what is your mantra to it how are you looking forward to things kuch to log kahenge logon ka kaam hai kya and that's what i leave Jee. it at i know my intention i know my truth and it is visible in the audio visuals of the movie that you see mm-hmm. and that is my thing and my i've made this movie very honestly they call it a propaganda film i call it an anti propaganda mm-hmm. film because of the propaganda spread on mr savarkar's name i wanted to release it in on the last independence day and then on 26th of january but it so happened okay. that maybe mr savarkar wished it that it comes in election time so that there is more talk about him and more awareness that <laughs> spread definitely so this is this is one thing na a lot of people think that elections are coming that is the reason it's a propaganda film and all but all i want to know is that you know this could when you saw the released. trailer when you saw the trailer did you feel it was a propaganda film or just a no no film? no i did not i did not in fact what i you know what caught my attention was the jail sequence when i saw you you know putting that sequence in the trailer because a lo- there was a lot of debate about you know him going to jail and everything so when i saw that i was like damn like you know that takes courage to put everything in the trailer as well because then it's it's in front of the audience right you can't do anything once the trailer is out yeah that's why i put it so people know that it's there in the movie so they come watch it mm-hmm. there is no safe playing in the film like you have covered like all the major aspects and you know yes i have, I have covered all all the contentious aspects of his life mm-hmm. in rather detail and i've created the circumstances in which he he lived uh, judging people with the prism of today and the wokeness mm-hmm. of today especially is absolutely doing injustice to them like for example in america there's mm-hmm. a columbus day holiday right but now people know that he was a slave trader mm-hmm. right so history is being rediscovered across the world and how american mm-hmm. movies have created this whole propaganda about americans being the good guys and all the others being the bad guys and mm-hmm. they've got the strongest army even the aliens only come to america and mm-hmm. and and you know though they were defeated in vietnam afghanistan iraq they had to run so all these things so even internationally we have to make mm-hmm. films which uh, are which propagate our country uh, in a way where we have a standing in the world we already have a standing in the world and uh, and the soft power of films also has to go there like america has just made a movie on the man who made the atom bomb which destroyed mm-hmm. which can destroy so many lives can destroy the world but yeah. they're looking at it they're celebrating their heroes though with the atom bomb they bombed i don't know millions of civilians and killed them in japan that is not considered an act of uh, act which is bad which is horrendous mm-hmm. horrible thing to do no because they control the propaganda similarly i think yeah. it's about time the narratives are changing across the world and the american uh, uh, american uh, spirit of nationality is not the only spirit of nationality there are other countries especially india now now we are also mm-hmm. armed the teeth and we are also we also have nuclear arsenal and we are making our own submarines ships cannons everything and this was mr savarkar's vision and mr gandhi and yes. mr Nehru had felt at that time that we don't even need an army look at what's happened to ukraine 
They had the mm. biggest in their arsenal, but they gave it up and now they're begging. So similarly, this is a nationalistic, uh, the Indian nationalist movement is again in resurgence. Our country is reclaiming its place in the sun. And I hope more movies are made on that. Veer Savarkar has created a revolution. And what I want to ask you is like, you know, from you, from Randeep Huda, what kind of revolution can we expect in the industry? Uh, in the industry? Yeah, something because nowadays, you know, when we see actors doing such massy films, they are already behind such kind of films. They want everything to be in the action perspective. You know, they just want to attract the audience out there. But you are this person who is making a film on Veer Savarkar, which takes a lot of courage, as I said before. So what kind of revolution do you want to create in the industry? I have no interest or I have uh, no hold over the industry to create a revolution. I've made a film the way I wanted to make him. Yeah. But with this film, I do want to make a movement. Yes. Which is to get, which is about Mr. Savarkar and all the malign, mm -hmm. maligning falsehoods that are told about him. And also to encourage people to discover, rediscover or mm -hmm. our omitted history, our so many thousands of uh, uh, revolutionaries who gave up their lives, whose families suffered, who were hung or sent to jail and all that. There's so many more there out there than only Mr. Savarkar. So I want this movement to, to, uh, uh, to start uh, bringing out our forgotten heroes. I'm damn sure. And I'm sure that you're going to make more films like these. Talking about the casting, Ankita Lokhande, as you said in one of the interviews that, you know, Ankita wasn't the first choice because she looks pretty glamorous and I totally agree with it. But, you know, she is also fitting in the skin of the character and how. So now when you see her act, do you like think that, okay, she is the perfect one? She had no choice. That was the character. As a, as a, as a, as a director, Gigi. that was not a choice. You had to mm. do your work and uh, it took some effort, but uh, we got it right with Ankita. Okay. If I have to ask you three qualities you love about Veer Savarkarji, what, what is the three qualities? His love for his country, his anti-caste system, his abilities as a writer. And three qualities what people are not aware of him. As you said that, you know, few things are omitted so you know, a lot of people are not aware of it. What do you have to say? They're not three aware of the first three things yeah. I've told you. And you have researched, oh, oh, something more. No, that's it. Something, you know, while shooting, you were like, ye batana hai logo ko. Uh, uh, his, his contribution to the, uh, to the freedom struggle and the uh, social contributions of uh, uh, removing the stigma of caste and uh, untouchability and uh, his uh, revolutionary writing. Hey, thank you. Thank you so much. And thank you. Message thank you very much. Thank you. What message would you like to give to the audience? Uh, go watch this, um, mm -hmm. this film, which is made in a, in a modern filmmaking technique and a thrilling screenplay um, with international sensibilities. Go walk, catch it in the theater near you, and you can decide for yourself whether Mr. Savarkar was weird or not. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you very and much. I, I always say it was simply awesome, but today I'm saying it was simply productive having a conversation with you. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, this is Randeep Huda, and you're watching me on Awesome TV.